guys. So we're in hashes and symbols. Night the movies is the next part. Um, this is basically showing us what we're going to be building. And we will just kind of what would you like to do? Type add to add a movie, update a movie, delete a movie. Oh, we'll just display. See what there is to display. So display is Memento, Primer, and Ishtar. Cool. Simple program gets a little bit of user input and goes from there. Uh, so we want to create a hash and assign it to the variable movies. So all right, so movies equals hash. Put in your favorite movie as the key. It's a number rating. So my favorite is. Let's see, what's my favorite movie? Uh, yeah, we need. I was like, oh, I think we need this. All right, so actually, my favorite movie, believe it or not, is Home Alone 2. And we're going to give that a 10. Perfect movie. The perfect comedy. All right. And then we're going to put. user input we'll say choice dot chomp and I believe that's right wait did that work? I thought we got an error Oh yeah, this is what it needs to be. Choice equal this dot chomp. There we go, some user input. Book. We're not a movie person. Alright, so book. Alright. The case statement. So the else is what the case statement will do if it doesn't match any of its win statements in that case. In this case, the value of language. You load your existing code, create a case statement. So we have our example here. Say case. Or choice. And then say it. So I'm gonna add puts added when update puts updated when display puts movies. you need to end for the choice and I believe that should work. So some user input book air. Cool. Alright, now we'll start with the add branch. So we're going to put, oh, it wants us to remove the added. All right, so put uh, add a movie, please. And then we're going to say choice equals, oh, it wants to use title. 
the title equals gets dot chomp. Next prompt the use in this place prompt the user for the movie title. Next prompt the user for the rating of the movie. Puts what, what would you rate this movie? And then we'll call that rating equals kids chomp. And add the movie creator. I should actually put some meshes and put it as I Alright, so we'll say uh, movies dot push. So dot push that. Let's see here. Okay. So we'll say movies, and then we'll say title equals grade. And then we will say puts in queue the movie was added. So let's see here. Some user input. Hello. So we'll say add. Oh no 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 um no uh. Oh okay we gonna do it cool alright so save us that code say add add a movie please <laughs> um come along what would you rate this movie about a seven thank you the movie was added cool uh, it's not Home Alone 2, second best movie Home Alone. Alright. Call dot to symbol. Dot to I on your rating so that you move the extra symbol to some hash. Title dot. Let's see if we can call it like this. I'm not sure if we can. Actually, we don't need to do it like that. Oops. Assume to have accident. Should we go back? Oh, yeah, we accidentally went back. Alright. Alright, so. That's not what we're going to do. We're going to go right here, title.2 underscore SYM and rating.2i. Dot and see if that will work. We'll say add. What do you want to say? We already did Home Alone, so let's do. Uh, Star Wars, I guess. And we'll give that a 9. Thank you, the movie was added. Cool, so everything seems to be working just fine. Add an if else statement uh, to the branch of your case if the movie isn't already in the hash, that is. Let's see it in here. Uh. All right, so we need to check to see if it exists. Um,
So first thing first, we need to check if uh, our original thing movies underscore title dot two underscore symbol is equal to nil. We want to do this. Else, we'll probably print something out. Put this movie already. Take this. Cool, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. See if that fixes it. Alright, some user input. So we want to do home alone. Or we want to do add rather. And then we want to do add a movie, please. We're going to say home alone 2. Um, save it as this. What would you rate this movie? 5. Thank you, the movie was sad. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So this is our code works, but I don't think that's what it's supposed to do. But we'll continue on for now. Let's see. So we're on to update. Actually, let's try something real quick. Uh, so we want to do home alone, air. Okay, um, so we just got this nail backwards, so basically what we need to do is, uh, I believe it was a question mark at the end of it. So let's see here. Um, this is good to do too, because, uh, our code's not working, so we need to check the home alone, two, Five with this movie already exists. Okay, cool. So that works. Uh, so we can go on to the next one. Oops. So now we're gonna do the update. Uh, basically, what we just did with update. Um, remove the puts for updated. All right. Prompt the user for oops, for a movie title. Store it in title. Alright, so, um, what title would you like to, to update? Title equals get uh, it's not chomp. Alright, and then if movies title oops title equal to nil puts error this Alright, so then it wants us to change the rating value of the title. So, uh, puts can you give us a new rating? Cool. And then we're going to say, we're going to probably create a uh, movie's title equals. It's not jump. I don't know if this will work, but it might. Hmm. 
Um, it should, I think. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, we forgot some end statements again. So, let's, let's see here. I know it's looking a little messy in here, but uh, if we were in a, like an IDE, a normal non-web-based program here, we could be able to clean this up a little bit. But uh, so we want to update. What title would you like to update? Home Alone 2. Can you give us a new rating? 11. Cool. Okay, so everything's working according to plans. Alright, so display. So we we have add, we have display, and now we need or we're on to display rather. So where is it? Puts movies, okay. So we're going to say movies on each. And then we have our key, we have our value. God, I always forget how to do this. Uh, I think I'm missing something here. Let me go back real quick. What does that each do? Okay. And then we'll say, um, now we want some puts. Right, so pound move, pound movie. So we had to change our values just because uh, it looks like uh, then we have to add an end statement. So cool. So we want to say display. So there is on long two for ten. Alright, last but not least, it looks like we have to update our delete method. Or, I guess it's not a method, but part of our method here. Delete our code here. Uh, what film, what movie are we deleting? And then we're going to get title equals it's not chomp. We'll say if movie movies rather movies title equals equals nil okay I don't think we actually need to do this so uh, looking at their example here it, it sounds like no harm will come if we just delete it whether it exists or not And then, of course, wait, let's see here. Line 32, expecting keyword end. I don't think this is an issue, though. Let's see, what is going on here? <laughs> so it's expecting the keyword end. But we didn't do anything. Just 
So let's just reset this code. We'll say enter the title to be deleted and then we'll say title equals gets.chomp and then we'll say movies.delete Oh, I was putting an exclamation point. I thought it was part of it. But uh, let's see if this works. Dot and that should work now. Cool. You can see right there it's nil, so we know that it got deleted. And nice work. Four verbs your program knows, add, display, update, and delete are universal. This acronym is better known as CRUDE, create, read, update, and delete. Um, being familiar with this setup is good because you'll see it in everything from API calls to web frameworks like Ruby on Rails. Cool. Feel free to play around with it. Okay, so we, we recreated it. It's a little bit different than the other stuff. Uh, it's actually shorter. Uh, I don't know which one's better, which one uses less memory. but um, all in all, I'm pretty happy. Uh, we did that pretty quick. And in this case, we will just call update uh, home alone 2, and we want to get rid of 12. Okay, we're going to share our accomplishment here. Close that. And next course is the Zen of Ruby. So, uh, as Ruby is a delight. Uh, Ruby is elegant. Ruby is not ugly. I'm not quite sure what this section is have. It's 20, uh, 20 parts, so it should take a little bit longer than usual. But uh, it was fun.